Hello. In this video, I will show you how to use Angular material tabs. Uh, it is very easy to use them. Uh, first of all, you have to make sure that Angular material is already installed in your computer and it is working fine. So for me, Angular material is already installed and it is working fine. So now I am going to show you quickly that how to start using Angular material tabs. First of all, you have to uh, import <coughs> Angular material tabs module first, and after then you can start using it. So before that, let me remove some unnecessary module. Now I'm going to import mat tab module. All right. So mat tab module is imported successfully. Now I, I you can uh, this is the the documentation page for the Angular Material tabs. You can come here and uh, see a lot of example and try things by yourself as well. So I will show you very basic example at the at first time. First of all, let me move this code. And so uh, you just have to copy this component and paste it here like this. So you have already imported the mat tabs module. Now you have added the mat tab group and mat tabs in your component. Now it should start working fine. Okay, you can see that tabs are working perfectly fine and it is looking great. Let's add some style in mat. I want to add some padding inside the mat tab. Let's see if that is possible. No, uh, you cannot add directly padding like this. So you can. There are several approaches if you want to add padding. One approach is that you just add another div and add a class on it, tab content, and then Now you can style that class that you just created. Tab content. Okay, you can see that padding is now working perfectly fine. Now there are a lot of other options and um, examples that that you can check yourself and uh, apply if you want. So you can see there are a lot of options. So you can also uh, change the alignment of the tabs as well. At this time, by default, the tabs are aligned to the left by default. And uh, you can align them in the center. For example, you just have to add this mat align tab center property directive. For example, here, mat tabs. Okay, you can see that now tabs are aligned center. Now, if you add to the right, then it would be aligned to the right. Uh, maybe not right. It, can, it is the end, not right. So if you add at the value end, then the tabs will be aligned to the right. So there are other options like you can also control the speed of animation as well that is also very easy you can just uh, add the directive like this for example if you want to slow the sliding speed you can control it very easily with this directive now look at this 
the speed of animation has been changed. You can also disable the animation as well if you want. You can also add the icons like this. For that, you can just add, for example, in the Mat tab, you will have to add uh, uh, an uh, attack, ng template, and on that you have to add the Mat tab label. In that way, this uh, uh, would inject this content inside this ng template into the label area of your tabs. So let's try that. So here I'm going to remove this label and add ng template. So mat tab label with this by adding this directive it would automatically pick all of the content from this uh, element and put it inside the label area so that is very interesting way to if you want to add your own custom HTML or anything like that so now to use icons you must have to import the icon module first So we will do the same thing for others as well. But before that, let's add the icon that you want to add. Now you can copy paste this ng template everywhere, wherever you want to add the label. And now you can get rid of this directive label from all of the mat tab because we are using a different way to add labels. You can see that icons are added, but uh, there's no space. That is why these are not looking good. Okay, I don't like this slow speed, so I'm, I'm going to remove it, remove, it, remove it again. So now the, I like this speed. All right, so we have added the icon. You can also uh, increase the height at automatically as well. For that, you just have to tell that you want dynamic height. So there are a lot of other uh, interesting features of the tabs. One of the feature I want to show you that you can uh, select any tab dynamically. Uh, for example, from the code side, from the component, you want to select the second tab by, uh, automatically. Then you can do that as well. So let's try that. For that, first of all, we have to access mat tab group inside our uh, component class. And uh, we have to implement the life cycle after viewing it, and we have to use it. Actually, we don't need a life cycle because we want to 
change the tab just by clicking on a button. So I'm going to create a button. Open second tab. So on click on this button, I want to open second tab. So here I will access, so I'm going to move this live cycle for now. This dot mat tab group dot select, so you just have to change the selected tab index and that would automatically change the tab. I'm just going to rename the parameter to match the value. All right. So if you want to select the second tab, that means the index would be one. So let's try. You can see that I just clicked on this open second tab and it uh, automatically took me to the second tab. So you can see that you can easily control tab from the code as well. So I think that's all for now. Uh, you, you have enough knowledge that you can now easily use these tabs in your own project. So thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you later. Take care. Bye.